day one, day sold. Mustang we show you everything at Mustang Medic. We work on, buy, sell, restore, and most of all, love your Mustang. MustangMedic.com delivers gorgeous women once again. MustangMedic.com, we take the frustration out of restoration. The 1971 Mustang Fastback Restoration Project. Fins perfect, just kidding. <laughs> Is that Sessie? No. That's Sessie, that. I think she's yeah. here. These are, are in, in place now. And we're going to drill holes into the lid, the trunk lid, right here and right here, right here and right here. I taped them down. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do small holes first and then larger holes. So here we go. And I think the wife is here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. The wife is here. But she's happy because we fixed her chair. See in the back of the truck? That's her little massage chair. And it's very important to her. So we're pleased to report that uh, we got it done. And here she is. <laughs> In casual wear. All right, here we go. Commencing the drill. One. I won't bore you. We're going to do this three other times. So we're waiting for the jacks. We're going to get Tommy's car all the way up and look at it. We do have approval to move forward and pull in his trans. So that most likely is going to be happening tomorrow morning with Nick. I've got some meetings, so I won't be around tomorrow. We'll see how it goes. And uh, we're waiting for Zoma's approval on that. Here you go. What I do is I hit some, I, we drill the holes in the trunk. I basically just hit it with some rust encapsulator so there's no exposed metal. We're waiting for um, Andre to show up. So... We're going to put the fin on, and then we'll, uh, we'll just take it back off. I just want to put it in position. It'll be easy to do. It's only four bolts. And here's the underside of the trunk, which we've still got sanding, guys. I know you guys are all jealous because there's open metal, and there's no rust on it, really, for the most part. We got a little bit of water drips here. We're just going to do a quick hand sanding on that to clean that up. But I put a little rust encapsulator on those holes, and now we're going to put these pins in the bottom of the fin, put the fin on top, and bolt her on, and then she'll be secure and the fin will be in position. Life is tough for my wife. <laughs> She's happy though. I've been meaning to fix that massage chair for a couple of months, so we finally pushed it through and got it done this morning. Um, the dogs, Duke. We think Duke or Shelby chewed through all the wires in that chair. I'm gonna bother saying how much that chair cost. We bought it a long time ago. These are extra long, they don't need to be that long. Probably going to cut them down to half, but for now, we're just going to get her on. This is a temporary gig. We, oh, and here's the jack stands from Star for Tommy's project. We now have 26 jacks at Mustang Medic. Right? It was 24 last time, right, Carlos? Yeah. Is that okay? You're on video? Two more. Yeah. All right, there you go. There's James. You can raise all your cars now. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right, you can cut. Okay, good. Nice. Nice. Mm -hmm. These are the rubber gaskets, and they go um, like this. And Carlos is going to put that one on there like so. Like this? Up, upside down. The other way. Okay. Yeah. Nope. Wrong way again, Carlos. Okay. Ay, 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 ay. I'm holding this. Oh, is, that, is that what it is? Okay. All right. Like so there it is. They're now nice and little snug position. They got little grooves on them. They're flat. The flat side goes to the car. We've already put a little rust encapsular paint in there, so there won't be any rust going on on the holes we drilled. And if all goes well, this should just lay right into the holes, and here we go. Seth, you want to shoot video for Carlos and I when we do this? All right, here it is. I couldn't get the wife to get out of the chair to shoot video for Mustang Bat. <laughs> Take your time getting married, guys. Take your time. All right, 
Boom. She's in the holes. And go to the underside, underside. Carlos, show me the underside. And there's the, the big old honking bolts that come through that can be shortened up, obviously. But I'm going to secure them in now. Here we go. All right, I want to cut for a second. Oh! oh Very nice Italian are you, meatball slider. Yes, yes. yes. This is Brando. Look at this service. Look at this. This is the deal you get. You give look, and you shall receive. Look, the star, the star from Duck Dynasty is coming here <laughs> to, serve, to serve us. These are what you call fast eating, fast killing food. <laughs> Enjoy. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank I'll you come so back for my part. All right. Thank you. <laughs> that came from Frank's place. I gave it to Brando. <laughs> He's back. He's visiting. He's gonna. He's gonna come back tomorrow, and we are. He's going to patch all these holes. Patch all these uh, little holes that were put in the back of this original OEM trunk. That you guys, if you look at day one or day two, you'll see me taking the old fin off of this car when it was a shell. That's way back when. Uh, but you can take a peek. Go ahead and, go ahead and close it, Andre. There it is. Boom. The fin is on. What's the adjustment? Go ahead, set it up so you think where you think it should be up a little bit like that. Andre's saying it's there. I don't know. You think it should be level, you think? That's not level. Well, wait a minute. Please look for the link in the description below for the next in our series. If it's not there, come back soon. MustangMedic.com. We take the frustration out of restoration.